I, uh, I uh, making this video and uh, my primary motivation is not all about the subject of this video uh, but I bought myself some uh, extra lighting and uh, uh, another tripod I'm trying to see how these videos turn out because uh, most of my videos I, my head looks like it's in a dark place anyhow uh, I want to make this video about uh, uh, well, why a lot of artists they fail uh, like they make a few movies or they, they make a few paintings and uh, then uh, things go sour or nobody accepts it or they don't make that million bucks and uh, then, uh, then what? Uh, and uh, I started my career as an artist, as a, uh, a beat player or beat actor uh, really late in life. I mean, I, I never wanted to be an artist. I, I really, really wanted to be an engineer or a mathematician. And I, I got graduate degrees. And uh, but uh, when I finished in the 80s, uh, this was the time that the relations between the United States and Iran had gone very sour, and the, the U.S. government and many corporations w were very, very hostile to Iranians. So uh, there, there has been, or there has been a small leakage of technology transfers and. Uh, uh, anyhow, Iranians then signed up with the Russians and the Chinese, and they got they got a lot of manufacturing and they got a lot of very good engineering, and uh, they basically built anything they want: planes, uh, you know, rockets. And they have their own satellites. They, uh, you know, Iranian scientists are pretty good, and uh, but it wasn't like this back then. It was uh, uh, it was uh, the after the Iran Iraq war, and uh, Iran really needed uh, these engineers and these scientists. And I was trying to fill uh, that void, uh, or like trying to uh, get a really good job with the major corporations. Anyhow, it, it all soured and. Uh, after a while, I, I was uh, I, I had uh, was really depressed that uh, whatever I do, and I cannot get the full hold in aerospace industry or in the in the technical fields, and like uh, get a hold of a, a certain uh, discipline that I could then take uh, either make my own company or. Uh, go work for Iran. Anyhow, uh, then uh, I kind of uh, was backtracking and I was saying, hey, I'm a very smart guy and I studied all this stuff and none of which uh, the society wants or want to do anything with it. And uh, I'm constantly pushed out of the academia, I'm pushed out of uh, many, uh, many companies. Uh, why don't I just uh, like uh, see what is my interest, uh, what area I could study that I d didn't pay attention because I was so focused on this supposedly uh, uh, high-tech uh, venture uh, that uh, there might be more interest in it. So basically what happened is that I started the uh, study or uh, focusing on any uh, subject or idea that has the only merit that this subject or idea or this passion had, that I had a passion for it, and I had an interest in it. So I, I mean, I started studying um, stuff that I, I, I would have never looked at twice. I started uh, studying Sufism, I started uh, studying psychic phenomena, I started studying uh, uh, Pure math, uh, stuff that uh, financially uh, that probably will never uh, uh, make a dime for me. And uh, uh, the only
only way I would I would ever or could ever uh, get a job in them it would be to go teach that subject, which is uh, like an, so I could just be a teacher. Then I could be a teacher with the engineering or or uh, sciences. So uh, so basically, I discovered uh, what is my passion, what makes me happy, uh, and the, the discipline and the art that uh, yeah, I feel that I yeah, either contributing or it's contributing to me. It's a two-way street. So when I started, uh, and, uh, much later in life, when I started uh, uh, doing films or, or doing uh, uh, working as an actor, I, I noticed that I, I enjoy this uh, kind of work. It uh, brings out and uh, those dormant personas in me, uh, aspects of my uh, spirit that uh, they, they go unnoticed. Just like uh, my uh, talent with engineering or, or uh, technology, it, it has become dormant for many reasons. Uh, <laughs> I think I, uh, uh, many people, uh, many uh, directors, they, they find the dormant part is the the part of me that's the, that's the uh, what my ex would call the big bitch, uh, which means uh, like uh, the you know like uh, very moral, very uh, authoritarian kind of person, and uh, he's got a lot of uh, smart, is uh, like a clergy or a bishop, uh, but uh, uh, most people find it very distasteful. Uh, uh, so did I, but uh, that aspect uh, is also was part of my persona, and uh, it brings it out. The films they bring it out. It's amazing how uh, the scripts they bring out uh, stuff that's uh, that's uh, you never thought. You know, would people be interested in this? Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, after I did a few films, uh, a couple of commercials, I. I was hooked and I, I think this is uh, great and uh, it made some money it, it, uh, the money has not been spectacular but I, I have every sentiment of reason to believe that uh, I'm gonna hit it big because uh, initially when I, when I started sending my headshots around there was a lot of response and uh, even uh, when some of the directors they didn't want me they would uh, they would write back and say, hey, you have a very unique look. And I'm thinking about you for any future projects. So I, I had initially a lot of responses. And then uh, it, it gradually uh, simmered down to a few uh, months. Uh, and uh, I, I think doing like four or feature films in a year, year and a half is a lot for anybody. So, uh, so uh, this is uh, interesting, and this is a passion now. And uh, but I, I don't do uh, extra work because I already work as security guard, uh, and the, the company they like me, they pay, give me a lot of work, and it pays that much, or even more, uh, or with overtime, as uh, if I was an extra. Uh, I, I really. Uh, don't want the the work part of the being an artist. I want the uh, the, the real part of it, the being an artist. So, uh, but the the this brings us to another uh, question that if you do not have a passion, okay, or if you have not discovered your passion, what makes you happy? What in work as artist or as a scientist. Yeah. I do a lot of research too. Uh, then if you don't have that, then the rest of it is crap. It, it, it's like uh, working as extra versus working as security guard. Or, or working as security guard, you're gonna work a whole lot less. Working as extra, you, you don't know uh, if you, you're gonna make as much money. Uh, you follow what I'm saying? It, when the when the when the passion is gone out of something, then it's, it's crap. It, it doesn't me, make any difference what uh, what it is. So uh, uh, 
in order for an artist to succeed and you just have to find his passion and also to do it uh, for its own sake for its own because it, it it makes you happy it's rewarding in its own s essence okay uh, if it is not and you're uh, you're trying to become a millionaire too and also if you're going to get women uh, <laughs> you, you have three four agendas you're not really bringing out your the art or the artist you're, you're focusing on all this other stuff well, when I started I was thinking Oh my God! I'm gonna get all these women. <laughs> in, the, in the last uh, film I did, it was uh, a Grant's life. Uh, I went to the rehearsal, and all the guys, and uh, they were uh, either uh, Marines or ex-Marines, and uh, almost all of them were gay too. So I said, <laughs> I really failed in, in getting women uh, as an artist, you know, like. Just it was all worked, and after that, but uh, <laughs> and you get what I'm saying. You have to have that uh, goal or passion, or, uh, and uh, you have to put the questions of money aside. Uh, then, uh, then that will become interesting. Uh, also, uh, many artists, uh, and that's, uh, including my son. They are uh, on drugs, and they are uh, on speed or cocaine or meth or whatever. Okay, and uh, they want uh, that thing. Actually, I was drinking uh, before I start when I started doing videos because the I wanted to get rid of the inner critic uh, to allow my uh, version of. Uh, you know, whatever that I was doing, the, uh, you know, I was just describing uh, my spiritual experiences or my psychic experiences or mediumistic experiences or presenting an art or a lecture in uh, math or a lecture in uh, uh, quantum physics or my ideas. I w wanted those to come out rather than what the, the schools and other teachers were saying. So. I, I found it useful uh, to kind of get a little tipsy, but then uh, I was drinking uh, vodka a lot, and my pancreas started acting out, and I went to the hospital, and I, I can't drink at all, so I stopped. And then, uh, uh <laughs> I don't know, uh, Instead of, uh, I know uh, a lot of ways to find that uh, high, that natural high. And uh, I, I know that there, there are many ways uh, to use herbs or herbal uh, extracts or stuff like that to get something close uh, without all the consequences. I was telling my son, you know, uh, don't do meth. Meth is uh, a very bad drug, very cheap, and usually uh, white trash likes it. Uh, and it, it makes them paranoid, they're violent, uh, horny as shit. Uh, nobody wants that. <laughs> uh, uh, you can use uh, uh, herbs that induce your own natural endorphins in your brain. And you have to research this out, and everybody knows this. Okay, there is, uh, I know four of them, and I will tell you, uh, you, sh you should use them almost daily in, in tea or soup to get, uh, get uh, that, uh, you know, being carefree and, and present your ideas. Uh, one of them is the St. John's Word. Uh, you can get it as powder in eBay. The other one is uh, Kana, K-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A. it's uh, also called uh, Velvet Bean Powder, and that one also induces endorphins, uh, which is your own natural endorphins. And the third one is uh, Macuna, it's the herb, 
and it usually comes in a powder and you can get it off of eBay. It's not that expensive. It's like seven, eight bucks for an ounce. And we'll go for a while. And then the uh, fourth one, this herb is, is, is pretty pricey. Uh, probably going to cost you a uh, dollar at least to five dollars a gram. And it's saffron. <coughs> saffron, uh, I got, uh, I think I bought a couple of grams or a gram for five dollars. This is, was a real good saffron, Iranian saffron. I use it very sparingly, in a dip a little uh, stir in it, uh, in the tea that has been in the tea and it's wet, and lift up a little bit of it and put it in my tea. And this also induces uh, endorphins. But uh, uh, having a lot of saffron is not good because it does have toxicity. You know, here and there I use it, and the other three are pretty benign. And uh, uh, I mean, I would use the other three and then use this one on and off. Anyhow, um, that's a question about uh, dope and drugs. Uh, you know, you need to get rid of your inner critics. That's the way. Uh, uh, I, I think I will be getting uh, a lot of uh, uh, gigs and roles. And last week I got two offers. One of them was uh, for a food taster, and the other one was doing a film about people who are aging. It's a documentary, and uh, I, I think I got that one. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I, I want to tell you. That I, I go to a lot of auditions too, and I blow up a lot of auditions too. Uh, it's not a, a completely success story. Uh, I mean, I've gone to auditions and they just kick me out. But one of them I went, I was supposed to play a jealous boyfriend. I think I, I think I did a good job, but the director abruptly cut me off and kicked me out. So that was one. Then the, the other one I went. Uh, it was a uh, uh, theater production, but I don't do theater because uh, I, I have uh, I'm blind in the left eye and the right eye. Uh, I don't like uh, dark places. Usually, in theater is dark. And I, I was walking into the audition room, it was pretty dark. I had to ask somebody to help me navigate the room, and then uh, also. Uh, Theater work is, is hard for me because uh, I take all kinds of supplements to like glucose. I mean, I don't want my legs to be wobbly. Uh, in fact, I have uh, uh, what they call it. I have artificial knee joint, and but sometimes I slip. And uh, hey, if I was uh, in a play, uh, <laughs> I don't think it would take the audience that long. To figure out, hey, hey, this is a legally blind senior citizen. Uh, I shouldn't be here. <laughs> uh, anyhow, in that uh, audition, I just, uh, I just left. Uh, uh, and th there were a lot of very energetic young people. Uh, it's amazing. They all wanted to do all this work for peanuts. And it's like, who the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, uh, then uh, I did a third audition. I, the director was asking about the dates for production. I was kind of have some confidence that I might get that one. And then the fourth one I got it was a war movie. Uh, so it, it doesn't always work out. And sometimes uh, you get a feel if it's going to work out or not. Uh, but uh, without. Uh, 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 continuous interest on your own part and uh, also uh, uh, the spirit is uh, infinitely rich and uh, uh, I go back to my own experience as a spiritual or, or psychic to bring out uh, talent for uh, different roles and stuff that uh, people usually wouldn't uh, think of and uh, uh, thank you very much for uh, being in my uh, video channel. 
uh, I will have another uh, segment or something along this similar line because it seems that in, the, in the, these remaining uh, years of my life I, I'll be doing a lot of artistic work in the film. People seem to be interested. Uh, keep I also myself I, I have a mutual interest to, uh, to do a lot of movies. I don't know if uh, I think I'm gonna break into a big production like a real you know, blockbuster. I mean I was in one. Uh, but that was kind of like an uh, accident, maybe. Uh, uh, but uh, I had this feeling that uh, uh, I, you know might end up in something like a Star Wars. Or, uh, <laughs> I have, a, I have a, a very sharp uh, features, and maybe uh, that would get me in. Uh, again, some of my stuff, or a lot of my stuff, is the research. Uh, please do subscribe. Thank you very much.